Good morning, good afternoon. Um, special request by one of you. So I am going to go through um, one of the examples in page 169. I'm going to go through the first example and I'm going to be doing it in GeoGebra. So you can see the whole process and what you should be doing um, in order to answer the question properly in the exam and get full marks. So now I'm going to switch to GeoGebra and show you how to do it there. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so here we are in GeoGebra and I am looking at uh, the first example, example six on page 169. We have a series of constraints and, and then we've got, I'm, I'm only going to do section A, show you how to optimize um, this problem. So the first thing we have to do is take those constraints and plot them in my coordinate grid there. X has to be greater than or equal to two. Well, that's going to be the equation X equals two. So in there, X uh, 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 equals two is that line there. That's great. So that's the first constraint drawn. Then 4x plus 3y has to be less than or equal to 12. So I am going to write uh, 4x plus 3y equals 12. And that's my second constraint drawn there. Then I've got another constraint, 2y is less than or equal to x. So I am just going to draw the line 2y equals x, which is that line there. And finally, we have the uh, box standard constraint where x and y both have to be greater than or equal to zero, which means that we are going to be strictly here on the first quadrant of the axis. All right. Now, um, looking at the mark scheme of um, some of the papers, one of the marks is given for um, plotting an optimal, sorry, an, an objective function. So in the example here, they tell me to maximize P equal 2X plus Y. So all you have to do is pick a value, any value for P. We don't know what the optimal value is going to be. We don't know that. But we're just going to give it a value. And the reason will become apparent in a minute. So let's say I pick P to be 2. So I am going to write my ob objective function. So 2 equals, and I just chosen 2. I've chosen 2. I just picked a value to represent the line. 2x plus y. So that is this line here, this new line that has appeared there, that one I've just highlighted, um, is the objective function. Um, I'm not sure you're going to change the color of it. Can I, I'm just playing with the settings. Uh, color. Ooh, let's go for red. Ah, fantastic. There you go. That's the objective function. Brilliant stuff. Now, the point of that objective function is to help me identify where the optimal solution is going to be. Now, the optimal solution is going to uh, lie on the, um, on the feasible region. And the feasible region of um, my problem here is one, two, three, one, two, three, four. This, this area here between two and three, between the, on the x-axis between two and three, and, and is this one, two, three, four, weird looking quadrilateral there. Now, uh, we know that the, um, the optimal solution is going to be close to uh, the corners of the feasible region. So which one is it going to be? So this is why you get your ruler, you lay it on the um, objective function that we've drawn, which is the red line there, and you slide it 
until you uh, uh, you get to the further or the furthest corner out that you can get. So if I take that objective function, which is the red line there, and I had a ruler and I just laid it across uh, in a parallel fashion, uh, the optimal solution would be in this top right corner here between this line which is 2y equals x and this line here which is 4x plus 3y equals 12 so if I wanted to find the optimal solution to my problem I will it would be this point here that I have zoomed in which is the crossing point between that line 4x plus 3y equals 12 and that line there 2y equals x. I will solve those two simultaneous equations. You know how to do that. I'm not going to do it here now. Um, or maybe I could, but I think you know, you're know you bright enough to do that. And then you have to be careful as to whether your answer is an integer solution or not. Um, and you've got the previous video for that to remind yourselves. Okay, so that is it. That, that is... Um, um, linear programming. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Um, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Take care. Bye.